Hey, yeah, welcome back, guys. It's your boy Deco Graphics. Today, I will teach you three ways, three ways to blend an image, and images with your background in Pixel App. We are familiar with one particular ways of blending our objects with our background to look more real. And some, some of us are prefer using another application to blend on our smartphone, like. Uh, PSCC, like a photo P, uh, like Snapseed. But today I brought you a good news. I will show you three ways on how you can blend your images with background in Pixel App. So we, I will be starting with our first uh, popular uh, way that we all normally uh, uh, use whenever we want to. Uh, blend any object with our backgrounds or with our images so the first thing that we want to the first method is a gradient blending which is the popular one why the second one is a shadow shape background blending why the third one is erase option blending uh, these are the three ways which i'm going to teach you that you can use in blending an image with a background so the first step we shall be starting with that gradient blending how is that one look like the first thing is to bring the images that you want to blend so take it for instance let's say i want to blend this image i want to create a church flyer and i have this okay so if i have this how can i blend uh background with this to make it usable for my church flyer after you select this determine the background you want to use so let's take it for instance i use this background it's still obvious you can see the sharp edges here you can see all these sharp edges how am i going to deal with that so after you select the background note the color that you use for the background so you are going to select another uh, shape like this so now after selecting the shape make sure that you use it to cover so after you do that instead of us to use the color color we are not using the color at this uh point we are going to use the gradient so the gradient we are going to use we are going to use it to blend the image that we imported from our gallery that's why i call it gradient blending after you select that you have to select the same image so this is the same image that we use for the background so this is the uh, color bucket the first one this is another color bucket so after you while well, you have the two you this one meant for the lower part why this one meant for upper part now we are dealing with the upper part because that's the one that is going to face the images that we select we brought from our gallery so after you select the keyframe i mean the the color bucket here you tap on the color icon here after you tap on it what you are going to do the lower part here you draw this key towards the hand that is to make it fade to make it transparent so immediately you draw that you click ok you can see that the upper part is somehow transparent while the lower part is somehow thick if it's nearly affecting the lower part to make the lower part thick you are going to shift this key towards up it's like they have the same grand they have the same ground to share so this share one is influencing is about to influence the second uh, color bucket so to make this one gain a little ground so you shift it towards the middle when you shift it is okay the reflection is cover reflection of this color is cover the the remaining parts once you click that you cannot tap okay so and when you tap okay you see how the results look okay so you can even do more by doing what after you tap this you are going to click on plus sign to have the same color so once you have the same color drag this one towards the edge then you will have this result okay so once you have this result you are going to click on the this uh, transparent color bucket then you drag it towards the middle a little bit so let's see how it look and when you look at it categorically and if you don't want that you can just remove click minus to remove the third one that you that you added so you have this particular result and you tap ok and when you look at it this is blend you might not be able to see you can't see 
where it's joined anymore you can see right so if you want to make it more perfect you just drag this one down and you you increase this one a little bit so now we have our whole result and this is what they call gradient blending now let's place a design on it i've already prepared for this so if i place this design on top of it let's see how it look and look at how it is this is not amazing this is the first trick and you see you can see the traces of where the line join together if you even blend it outside this it can be perfect more than this that's the first step we can have this one to be saved so what is the second step that we are going to use after having this one to be saved we have what we call the shadow shape background blending shadow shape background blending how is that one hook happen i'm going to erase everything right now so it remain these as you can see right so the edges the sharp edges still showing as you can see sorry so the sharp edges is still showing here as you can see where my cursor is moving so the sharp edges is still there or you might be thinking let me use another images let me use another image for you to be able to see the clarity of these things so let's take for instance i want to use this image can this one work again it will work so you can see the sharp edges there so i cannot make this one work what they call a shadow shape background blending is this when you tap here so as i was saying when you draw you you pick a shape like this this is what they call shadow shape background blending so when you copy a shape like this what do you need to do you scroll down just go to the opacity change it to zero you can see right then you go to gradient the gradient you you increase the gradient very well okay you have something of this nature so when you increase the gradient you change the color okay i mean the stroke you after you turn the opacity to 100 percent and then you the stroke you will change the stroke to 60 you see i increase it to 60 so let's change the color to that the color to that stroke this is it right you can see so after you are able to do that then the next thing we are going to do is to go to blur radius so you will increase it to 25 so stretch it stretch this one as well so you should be able to have let me go back to the gradient pick the same color so you should be able to have this particular stuff so when you have it you can see the way it's display you can see so this is another way and you can just bring it together like this so the edges will not just be showing anymore so if you have something of this nature okay perfect and if you want the the whole style to be looking good you can just scroll down go to the color the color of a thing so take it for instance if i want to use i don't want to use a gradient i will use my color picker so i will pick this exact color so i will tap ok so once i pick that i will click ok so you can see perfectly so it means the background i'm going to use will be that exactly and it will have this result so what about if we we position everything on that and if you want to increase it maybe we want everything to be increased you can see this is another blending right so the only thing we can just do after we blend that we just need to copy so after we copy we position that around there then we'll go to opacity then we reduce the opacity a little bit and we have our own result so let's go and position this here you are going to tell me which one is the best among all these so we have the result perfect perfect and after we position that we can just readjust this a little bit so that it will be fading and you can see everything seems to be cool and perfect you can see so you can do your church flyer position whatever you want to position on this the third one will be uh we are going to use the next uh, step on that so let's delete all these and start from the scratch again this is the second step so the last step but not the least is erase option blending erase option blending so i'm still going to use another 
blending for that okay we we'll call it a race option blending so i'm going to use the full image of this so if when you look at this one this one can what can take part of the whole stuff so how can i blend this so let's say i want to blend it on the background so let's say for instance i select this this is the background i want to use so after selecting the background what do they call how do they use a erase option erase option blending so i will go to eraser so i'm getting to eraser this is a blur blurriness the blur i will increase it to to the edge edge here why the size i will increase it a little bit i will turn on this handle for me not to use my hand so after turn on the handle i will just use this so you can see use it use it use it you can just erase a little bit understand this and i will just turn it up turn it up a little bit clear this part you tap okay so now you have your whole results okay you have your whole results so after you you blend that you can see everything seems to be cool so which one is perfect among all these so now don't judge book by its cover anyway so let me see right on I want to still show you something that can make it more cooler. So after I selected this, you know it's the shape. So I have to go to eraser. So I'm getting to eraser, I will enable all this while we stretch this a little bit. Stretch it a little bit. So I will tap OK. So I will just position this around here while I have this particular result. So this is another method. Is it perfect? Like the first two methods I've used. So let me position this and let's see. So which one is perfect? The first one. So I prefer the first and the second one than this last option. But both the three options are authentic, which you can use it. So let me go back to um let me go back to the first option. Okay. So let's use the first option to create something creative. So let's take it for instance. <clears throat> I want to I want to use this so let's say I want to use I'm thinking of which of those uh, shape can I use so let's say I want to use this okay sorry let's say I want to use this image so on selecting this image I will select this okay I will still return back to that anyway sorry so I want to use it to set up my background first. So once I select that, the size is ratio 8. I will select it. It will give me this color, right? I don't want it. I just want to use it for using sake. So I will return the color back to the custom like this. So it give me the size I want. So now the next thing I will do is to go and reselect that image. So once I reselect it, I will have this picture. You can see, right? So I cannot blend this. I will follow the previous process by selecting the background. So which is the background I want to use. So I will go to the shape, select shape like this, okay? That I want to blend. So after selecting the shape, among those options, the one I've blocked before, I will just pick one. So drag this up a little bit. So I will have this result, bam, bam. So after having this result, I will lock the O2. Let me go and bring the design I've made, which I kept somewhere. So let me go and bring that one and bring it here. I have a design which I've kept here, okay? So I will just select the design and position it here. Okay, perfect. This is done. So you can see, right? This is another ways of blending your design. You can blend your design in three different ways and you have this particular result. And if you want to change the images, let's say after using this, let me increase this a little bit. Then you reposition to the center. So after reposition to the center, you have your work being saved. Okay. You have your work being saved. So after saving the work, what is the next thing that you need to do? I just need to replace this. So I will just go to replace, reselect. So I will look for another one which I can actually use. So let's take it for instance, I use this. 
I'll position this there. So it give me another int, right? So if I can see use this. So apart from that one, I can see use another one if I want. So if I want to see use the blending of the things, okay? So I want to select another one right away. So I will select this. Let me just reselect. So I will select the full one, okay? Like I said before, I will have this result. Perfect. Perfect. So you can see that once you are good with this blending of a thing, you can use any method that you want or any method that you prefer. You can use it and achieve this particular option. So thank you for watching. I believe you learn about the gradient blending now, which is the one I use now. You learn about the shadow shape background blending and you learn about the erase option blending. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoy my video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I update my channel with a medicine video like this. And don't forget to share guys. Thanks for watching once again. God bless you.